Imran Academy, and uh, we're out strip tilling right now, as you can probably see. <laughs> that auto steer, <laughs> RTK, it makes uh, things a lot easier. Um, one thing about strip tilling, benefits that I've seen is uh, cost on fertility wise, uh, takes a lot less per acre. And in, since we're in the drier climate here in Nebraska, I like to deep place it about eight inches. Um, so a lot of cost savings just by banding it below the row. And uh, as far as erosion goes in these hills, farm ground from flatland to 18% slopes. Um, I think I'm getting less erosion on strip till versus no till. Uh, just get it back running this heavy machinery all the time. That no till ground seems to be getting hard. Uh, and on the no till it's hard to get a good fertility program going. That putting that over the top just doesn't work very well. Yield wise, you know, I just in the last couple years, anywhere from 20, 30 bushels an acre better on the corn. Soybeans, probably two to five. Don't do a lot of testing on that. Um, maybe the reason why the yield advantage, some part of the yield advantage on corn could be, could be the fact that I'm getting a better stand from more plants, more ears. Um, cause we didn't, I myself don't plant the dry land real thick, we only run about 25,000 population. Um, we do use starter, um, plus the deep placement with the strip till. Well, since it's drier here, you know, we get the roots down in there, cause we've experimented in the past by placing all the fertilizer behind the planter on the surface or off to the side by two inches. And when it gets dry, you know, all the fer fertility areas in the dry soil to where the deep placed uh, fertilizer, all the nitrogen, sulfur, and everything else that goes along with it, that's in the moisture a lot longer than the crop has access to it uh, during our dry spells. God, excuse me, but I'm trying to turn. I had to turn it around. <laughs> Not <laughs> a make problem. Sure everything's working. <laughs> perfect, perfect. But, uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I think strip till in the drier climates is good. One thing you got to be well aware of, though, in strip till in Nebraska on dry land is it can dry out if you're not careful. That's why I run uh, firming wheels on my strip tool machine to firm that soil back down a little bit. It helps seals it back up and keeps the, the air from getting down, drying it out. Because I used to have my strips dry out really deep, you know, four inches, five inches down or they just completely dried because we'd have 30, 40 mile an hour winds with 15% humidity and it dries them out. So that was a lesson learned. I've gone in, you know, in the past where I had a hard time planting in any moisture at all. It's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's one thing I've learned is try to see even a basket would, you know helps. It's better than running that in the spring. And we talked about running a narrow uh, knife in the spring, the three eight stick knife, so it ain't so aggressive. Now in the fall, it doesn't matter. You can go with the thicker knife. But in the spring, we, I run the thin knife. So they wear out faster, but you're not, it's not so aggressive uh, that it's pulling a lot of soil, uh, pull, uh, cold soil out. So. Perfect.